What's going on guys, Matt here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can draw on your videos just like this. So let's jump right in. So there's a few different ways that you can do this effect. Now one of the ways is you can get an iPad and actually record yourself drawing on the screen. And this is what a lot of people do, but a cheaper way to achieve this is to just pick up a tablet that you can draw on for your computer. Now, the one I have here is called the Wacom Intuos, and you can really go with any brand. I just went with Wacom because they're a known brand, and this one was pretty cheap. You can pick it up for $100, or if you are a student, you can actually get a student discount through B&H and actually pick this up for a little cheaper. So the programs we're going to be using to do this are Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere to edit your videos obviously, and OBS Studio, which is a free program you can download. You can actually use any other program to record your screen. I just use OBS because it's free and it's easy to use. So let's hop onto the computer and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Alright, so this is the easiest way to do this in Photoshop. So if you open up your Photoshop and create a 19 by 1080 file, that will be the exact dimensions if you're making a 1080p video. Now when you're picking your color, it's important to pick your background. So if you're going to be using a black color brush, then white would be your desired background. But since I'm going to be using a white brush, I want to create a black background. It's important that you pick a brush that suits your style. Also having the pressure sensitivity brushes uh, helps a lot as well. So then you'd go over here and create a new layer that you can draw on. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can start drawing text on here. And obviously if you have better handwriting, uh, it's going to look a lot better for you. And if you mess up and you want to erase it all, then you can just hit Ctrl Z over and over again. Or you can go and just delete the layer entirely. That's why having a new layer kind of makes it easier. So now that we have our drawing canvas set up to draw for video, let's jump into OBS and I'll show you how I record this. So as you can see here, I'm obviously still recording and it looks kind of like Inception here. But this is essentially how you would record your screen to pull it over into Premiere Pro. What you're going to want to use is the window capture. And if I were to turn this on, you, would, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing here, so I'm going to leave it off. But you would add a window capture. Just hit OK. And this is going to capture anything that you do in Photoshop. Now if we come over here, the one thing that you need to note is that the canvas is obviously a lot smaller than the entire Photoshop screen. So what you can do in OBS is just en enlarge the actual recording and you can pull it to where this black is covering the entire screen and that will make your recording much smoother. Alright, so once you're actually finished recording your drawing, let's throw it into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to get that background out of there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and throw our recording onto the timeline and since we don't need the audio, we'll go ahead and delete the audio. And find a point where your drawing begins here, so mine begins right there, so I'll cut it to there. And then find a point where the drawing ends, so about right there. All right, so the way to get this background out of here is super simple. We'll just have it highlighted, go over to the effects control, go to your blend mode, and we're gonna go to lighten. That's gonna bring out anything that was a white color and take out all the dark color. And you can see here that our video plays with the drawing in mind. Now there's one issue is that the drawing is going pretty slow. So what we're gonna do is speed that up. So what we speed that up is how we'd speed up anything else. We'll go to speed and duration, and usually I pull it up to 200% or whatever looks most natural. You can use other ways to speed the clip up. I just find this to be the simplest way to do that. And if we go back and play it, it goes a little quicker. Now if you have good handwriting, this is gonna look way better. My handwriting looks terrible, so makes it look worse. And if you wanted to speed that up and keep it there, you could just add a freeze frame and drag it out. But overall, that's basically how you draw on your screen. Now you can get crazy with it and add drawing sound effects and spice it up, map it to a wall or whatever kind of crazy stuff you can think of. But it's a super simple way and it kind of adds a little character to your videos. Now that's basically all there is to it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like and that'll be helpful for me. And if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to be notified for all my future upcoming videos, just hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot of cool content coming your way. I'm here to help you guys and teach you what I've learned. It's all about sharing our knowledge. So if you're in that kind of stuff, just hit the subscribe button and join the community. But until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one.